On behalf of Mary, Blake, and their parents, I would like to thank all of you for being here this evening to take part in this wedding and help celebrate this wonderful union. It is my great honor to be the officiant tonight. Mary is my cousin, she's my goddaughter, and she was a flower girl at my wedding nearly 19 years ago. Weddings are important, stressful, but important. Marriages are still important. Not always easy, but important. There may not always be fun times in your marriage, like in any marriage. There will be ups, there will be downs. But at the end of the day, if you talk to one another and actually listen to what the other person is saying and remember how much you love each other, then you'll be just fine. When times do get tough, think of how your parents would handle the situation. Joan and Greg, Kelly and Vance, both couples have been married nearly 30 years or a little bit longer. That's a rare thing these days. And it's not by chance and it's not by luck. It's by continuing to care for each other and growing as a couple together, leaning on each other when you need support. There's something that St. Paul wrote to the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago that has helped me during difficult times in my life. All things work for good for those who love God. Remember those words. Do not sweat the small things. Focus on the big picture, which is growing together as husband and wife. And hopefully in another 30 years, you'll be together celebrating one of your children's weddings. Mary, standing here today by your side, I could not imagine loving anyone more than I love you. I remember seeing you from across the room in that blue top. Somehow you already knew that was my favorite color. I knew you were the one at the Eli Young Band concert when I sang Crazy Girl to you, getting lost in your eyes. I just needed to convince you to feel the same way, which turns out only took a few hundred bags of hot fries. As many of you know, we lived an hour apart for most of the time. We weren't sure how we would make it at first, but we are very fortunate to have very loving and supportive families and only strengthen our love for each other. I remember asking Greg for Mary's hand in marriage, and he just looked at me and says, you know, I already see you as part of the family. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with this amazing woman. Like, one of our first dates six years ago brought me out to Dubbridge for the grand opening. I didn't know you'd be introducing me to your whole extended family, or that one day this would be where you would propose to be and marry me. I'm so incredibly thankful to have spent the last six years with you. I remember wanting to marry you after meeting your family for the first time. I witnessed how deeply you care for the people you love. You're always the first person to drop what you're doing, to help someone in need, and to go out of your way to do something for a friend just to see them smile. You're the most selfless and compassionate person, and you add so much value to my life. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I know that you'll be an amazing husband and future father to our children. Every Sunday, my mother would say she prayed for her future spouses. And I know she was praying for you before I met you, and that she still prays for you today. You have the love of my life, and I promise to adore you, cherish you, and respect you, respect you for all of my days. The symbolic sage reminds us, at the very time we celebrate the construction of marriage, of the fleetingness of relationships and of life. We burn this sage too, as a reminder of those who are not with us to share our joy, but whose voices we can hear and whose presence we can feel. We think of all those we have loved and still love, and it is the elements of that love that brings them to this place at this time. Our remembrances do not detract from our joy, but reinforce it. May the burning of the sage bless this couple and their future to come. As you go through life together, may your love for each other be the center of your hearts and home. May God bless you and your marriage from this day forward 
I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>